Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured we would hang out in the kitchen since we're gonna be talking a little bit about my weight. So one of the things on this journey to self-confidence that I have been working on for a while now has been my confidence with the way I look physically, specifically my body. I plan on posting some more videos related to what I eat in the day and how things are going with uh, weight loss and stuff. The gym's just opened back up over here, so hopefully I'll get to go back to working out here soon. A little bit about my weight gain. So I was always pretty tiny, like really tiny, all through elementary, like kid into elementary school. Once I hit puberty, I definitely grew some hips, but I was still small. And then as I hit high school, I got up to a, I believe 11, and that's kind of where I stayed. Um, and then I started, or well, it was right before I got married, I started to gain a little bit of weight. It was happening gradually at first, and then uh, I got married, and within two months of being married, I had gained 30 pounds. It definitely was not normal, so I went to my doctor, and they ended up sending me to an endocrinologist, and through some hormone testing and ultrasounds, I found out I had polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. And one of the common, not symptoms of PCOS, but things that PCOS can cause is weight gain. For me, they said the best thing that I could do was just try and eat mindfully, exercise, and you know, just keep my life on a healthy track. Well, <laughs> 21 year old me was not concerned about that. And needless to say, I just continued to gain the weight. So fast forward to 2000 and 16 my husband had decided he had previously been in the military he had decided to he had gotten out and decided to go back into the military because we were unable to conceive a child we had been trying at that point for um i think it was six years we've been trying and i can do a story on that some other time but when he went back in the doctor i had last seen told me i needed to lose at least 25 pounds to be able to qualify for treatments so i lost 25 pounds exact and my husband got home and I started using hormones now I had been using hormone treatments already for a couple years but we're talking like the shots trigger shots I mean just the whole nine yards of hormones so that made me gain quite a bit and I got pregnant during my pregnancy I actually lost 10 pounds the first trimester because I was so sick but after that I gained and I got to the heaviest I've ever been and it was definitely a scary <laughs> I, I situation i was very very unhealthy and actually ended up in the hospital because of having hypertension which was due a main part which was due mainly because of my weight so after this scare when i had my son i knew i wanted to start committing myself to a healthy lifestyle and at this point there's an ice cream truck <laughs> while I'm talking about food. <laughs> That's irony. So after I had my son, I ended up getting back on Weight Watchers and then we found out that my son was allergic to dairy, egg, soy, and um, there's one other, dairy, egg, soy, I can't remember the other one right now, but he had a bunch of allergies. And so, because I was breastfeeding him, I had to cut those out as well. So I was no longer eating cheese. I wasn't eating um, the new breads that had egg or, or dairy in them. I wasn't having dairy. So my diet was very plain. On top of that, I was on Weight Watchers, which I had done Weight Watchers back when I was trying to get pregnant and I lost the initial 25. So I went to the lowest I have been since high school. This was a huge accomplishment and I completely transformed my view of myself. I went from feeling so self-conscious and just disgusting to feeling proud of myself. I was in love with my body. I just felt so confident in everything I did. And at that time, my hormones were completely back to normal, partly because 
the weight loss. Also because I just had a baby and with PCOS that can sometimes kickstart your body into figuring out what it's supposed to do. So during this time I got pregnant twice. I lost both pregnancies and over all of that slowly I could tell my hormones were starting to get back out of whack. My cycles were going longer and longer. Things that I, the symptoms I get from PCOS were getting stronger and stronger. It was it felt like literally overnight like it wasn't but it felt like overnight like I blinked and I had gotten back up to the size that I am now. Now I will say I'm still smaller than I was a couple years ago but I really want to get back to being the smaller size that I was and I just want to put this out there because talking about weight is a very touchy subject. Weight is not everything and you can be beautiful at any size because it's all about your confidence. I truly believe that if you are confident that you will come off the way that you feel that you are, if that makes sense. For me, I just do not feel my best. I've noticed that my activity level has dipped. I'm lazy because it's COVID-19. I definitely want to try and get back into a healthier lifestyle. Now, I will say I've already been kind of doing that. I actually switched my Weight Watchers plan. I used to be on the blue. Now I am on purple, which is smart points. Blue is freestyle. So just from that switch, I've already lost some weight. I just wanted to put this out there, a little bit about my background, because I plan on posting some what I eat in the day, some grocery hauls, and just other Weight Watcher related type of um type of info and so I wanted to kind of give a background as to why I'm on Weight Watchers and just to reiterate again it's not necessarily about weight loss though yes I do want to lose weight I just want to be back to being confident because that was the most beautiful thing I had ever experienced was just loving myself fully in the body that I had and I will say since losing since even though I've gained some of that weight back I still love myself differently than I did before I had ever lost the weight. Like, I don't know, losing that weight just made me realize that I needed to show myself more love and I definitely am focusing on that as well. Not being so hard on myself about the scale or what size I'm in and just being more aware of how I feel, right? So I don't necessarily need to get back down to what weight I was, but I would definitely like to get to a place where I feel healthy and like my best self. That was it, kind of a short, sweet video today about a little bit about my weight, a little break from the braces talk, but I will be back at you on Monday with a one week update about my braces. And hopefully I can get a Q and A done soon. Drop those questions down below that you may have about me or any of my journey to self-confidence topics. Yeah, so make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed this and want more Weight Watcher slash healthy lifestyle type videos coming your way. And subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I post. Make sure you go grab yourself some hot or iced coffee. And until next time, I'll see you later.